Captain Kidd is famous today, and he was famous in his time. And there's somewhat of a controversy that surrounds him. Was he a pirate or was he a privateer? Captain Kidd was the political scandal of his age, um, it, just as, as Watergate was for people of, of my age. The source of the controversy is this actual ship that, that we're hoping to prove is the Cato Merchant. And this is a ship that he captured. He captured the ship in, in, I believe, January of 1698. Um, it was engaged in, in trade in the, in the Red Sea. Uh, in the Indian Ocean. Kidd used it, he replaced his original ship, which was completely eaten by marine worms and was no longer seaworthy. It was on the verge of sinking. He entered into a business venture of sorts with a number of powerful backers in England, some merchantmen, some government officials. He received official seal from the king and the commission to hunt pirates, with the goal being that he would capture any of the goods that the pirates had. He saw himself as a pirate hunter, so to speak. Uh, he was going to capture pirate ships, take all the loot that they had, and divide it up, split it with his, his crew and his investors, and everybody was going to make a lot of money. Well, what happened with the Cato Merchant was the kid captured it because they presented him French passes, they were flying French colors, so technically the ship was considered an enemy of England. So he captured the ship under those pretenses. Later, he found out the captain of the Cato Merchant was actually an Englishman and that the trade and the goods had been brokered by the uh, English East India Company and that the Armenian merchants, according to a, an agreement in 1688, were technically supposed to be treated as if they were English citizens due to um, some trade agreements that had been uh, forthcoming. All right, there's, th there's stuff on this, these pirate ships and it's been stolen. So maybe we ought to give it back to its original owners. That nobody thinks that way. It's like, all right, it's pirate loot. It's up for grabs. If we can get it, it's ours. And we'll split it up and share the wealth. And that's what he was trying to do. He was actually trying to capture pirate ships. Um, he, he was a sort of anti-pirate in a way. Uh, his backers, again, included the colonial governor of New York, four very powerful members of the House of Lords in England, and the King of England himself, all had invested in Kidd's scheme. In lieu of that, he'd already captured the ship. He didn't really understand that he'd been branded a pirate until he arrived in the Caribbean, and he was kind of uh, had to hop from port to port. Camped for about a month on the island, and then Kidd uh, sold some of the, the things that he was carrying in the ship, bought a fast, smaller ship and took off for New York. And finally he decided to leave his ship, return to New England to try and clear his name because he did have powerful backers and he figured that they could uh, get him off the hook, so to speak. And unfortunately, they weren't able to. They kind of left him high and dry. Um, well, he ended up eventually getting uh, arrested uh, and, and sent to England, uh, held in jail for uh, from 1699 till 1701, um, tried in a very quick, I mean, it took forever to bring him to trial, but when they tried him, it was over very quickly, um, and he was, he was condemned to death and hanged, and then his body was left in a cage by the Thames River for years afterwards as a warning to other people, don't become a pirate, or you'll end up like this. In 1699, Captain William Kidd captured the Indian trading vessel, the Cato Merchant. Despite a venture established with the Governor of New York, four members of the House of Lords, and the King of England himself, Kidd was labeled a pirate. After reaching Hispaniola in the Caribbean, Kidd discovered his fate and made a desperate attempt to clear his name by fleeing to New York. However, he left the Cato Merchant in the Caribbean. The ship was burned and its remains were never discovered until now. Ferruccio Fiorucci, a resort owner in the Dominican Republic, first discovered the site of the Cato Merchant remains while snorkeling. After alerting the local authorities, Indiana University was contacted. A group of IU historians, marine biologists, divers, and members of the Indiana University Underwater Research Program have been visiting the Cato Merchant site to determine exactly what happened to Captain Kidd. 
Primarily, we've been doing um, mapping of the site, making a detailed site map. We've also been doing a biological survey of the site, taking a look at uh, the different corals, what has grown on the site. There are a number of uh, cannons from Captain Kid's Wreck um, and uh, several anchors as well. So far, the only thing um, we found is ballast stones. But we haven't, this, this investigation is just beginning and we haven't actually done any excavation yet. This is simply what's, what's on the surface in shallow water. Um, there's, there's probably not going to be an awful lot because the ship was offloaded before it ended up on, the, on Catalina Island. Uh, but they're quite likely to have been small things in the hold. There always are things people lose and, and drop down. We have two different sizes of cannons. Cannons uh, around the time that Captain Kidd uh, designed and built his first ship, the British were beginning to mark their cannons. So our hopes are that we can recover one cannon of each size and once they're placed in conservation, the calcium carbonate that's surrounding the actual iron cannon will slough off and we'll be able to see the markings if there are any. And if there are markings, that will give us more clues as to where the cannons are from, where they were made. Sometimes you can track it to a foundry and then sometimes you can track that to a bill of sale and what ship it was put on. Even only 70 feet from the island where we were, there it was some of the richest underwater sea life I had ever seen and in fact the biologists at the site thought it was one of the most richest uh, uh, and healthiest coral reefs they had seen in the Caribbean. We have noticed that on this particular site uh, there's a plethora of Elkhorn coral which is virtually extinct here in the United States. Um, uh, about 10 years ago a uh, disease ran through and killed all the Elkhorn coral but on this site in particular it is just completely full of Elkhorn coral so it's pretty spectacular to see. They're just absolutely covering every inch you know everywhere you look there's there's either Elkhorn or pillar corals and it's, it's uh, fantastic because you don't find many sites like this in the rest of the Caribbean. But for me the bread and butter is actually the artifacts themselves, the cannons, the, you know, what could be the uh, scrap iron, the broken anchor crowns, the ballast stones that we dig up in the sand pockets. We found 26 cannons, two different sizes of cannon. We also found three broken anchors, which is indicative of uh, 10 tons of scrap iron, which Captain Kidd testified to having placed in the hold of the ship. Uh, we've also in, uh, discovered a number of ballast stones and some sand pockets behind the rocky shoreline. And we're hopeful that we can find some, some form of wood underneath some of the cannons. Uh, and we would also like to be able to find some fasteners or other smaller metal objects. In addition to looking at the shipwreck, we're going to be looking for, for where uh, kids' crew may have been camped on land. Um, to perhaps actually lift one or two cannon out of the sea to get the organic matter off of it so scientists can see if they can learn anything about who might have made the cannon and if the, the approximate dating of manufacture uh, uh, would fit in with the scenario that this, this is Captain Kidd's. Lo and behold, there was 26 cannons and two anchors and after several months of research, uh, we have determined that it is uh, Captain Kidd's Quitta Merchant from 1699. So we still have another couple of years of work to actually prove it, but uh, we're 99% sure we've got his ship. As far as knowledge goes, um, we're able to identify it, hopefully. Uh, it's, it's hard to do right now with, just with cannons and anchors, but we're hoping that buried beneath these, uh, there will be wood maybe left over from the ship that was protected, uh, you know, buried under the sand. Um, and that'll actually let us uh, determine uh, for sure if it's his wreck or not. Just recently, the Indiana University team returned to the shipwreck site in the Dominican Republic. After excavating and removing the cannons, scrap metal, and anchor remains, the crew discovered pieces of wood and other materials buried beneath the seafloor. These new discoveries, as well as historical documents, are hoping to allow Indiana University to prove that Captain William Kidd's Cata Merchant has in fact been found.